is Jenny from Balanced Bodies West Side, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Workout Wednesday, and I'm going to be showing you how I like to burn out my glutes at the end of every lower body day. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button below along with that bell button right next to it so you can get notifications every week when I make new videos. Today, I'm going to be showing you my favorite way to burn out my glutes at the end of every leg day. If you're one of my online clients, you probably have this in your program. We're going to do high, high reps with a moderate weight. For this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you a 20 pound dumbbell, but I've been known to use a heavier dumbbell or even a big, long Olympic barbell with some 10 pound bumper plates on it. More if you can for sure, but it's a burnout, so it's high reps, so generally the weight isn't too, too heavy. We're going to be alternating between pulses, which is where you squeeze your glutes and then release them again, and pauses, where you squeeze your glutes and you hold on to that squeeze for quite some time. If you are following along to a glute burnout, just listen to my voice. I'm going to go through the entire thing. Myself, I like to do 5 reps, 7 reps, 10 reps, 12 reps, 15 reps and then go all the way down from 15, 12, 10, 7, and 5. So it is a bit of a time commitment, but again, I like to do that at the end of every leg day. So starting with your dumbbell on your hip, you're going to either use a couch if you're at home, or a table, or a bench if you're at home and you have one, or the gym. I'm going to walk my feet out and get far enough away that just my shoulder blades are on the bench. I am widening my heels and pointing them out so that my knees don't buckle inward. If my neck is not on the back of the bench, there's an imaginary tennis ball here. And what I'm going to do, again, starting with pulses, is go up to the top, squeeze, release for five and four and three and two and one and down. Right back up for seven and six, five and four, three and two and one and down. And you'll notice that I'm not moving a whole lot. I'm just squeezing the glutes and releasing them. So it's not a half of a rep or a quarter of a rep. It's just a squeeze release, release of the muscle. Going right back up, 10 and nine, eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Back up again for 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. And then finally, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and down. Now I'm going to switch to So I'm going to hold the rep for the entire amount of time that I'm counting. I'm trying to make a straight line from my knees to my shoulders so that my torso is parallel with the ground. Going up for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. And if your glutes are voluntarily released, then just re-squeeze them. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. Back up again. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Squeezing the whole time. 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. Up again for seven and six, five and four, three and two and one and down. I think I might have missed ten there, but that's okay. You guys get it. And right back up again for five and four and three and two and one and down. So that is the glute burnout. If you want to add this on to the end of your lower body day, you can add it on days where you're working your quads or days when you're working your glutes and your hamstrings. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you next time.